So Martitian has been powered by a few different arrangements for the weapon over the years. So this is this is a previous one we used in the past was a, a, a long mag motor through the Waiachi gearbox. And I like the the right angle gearbox works really good to make everything fit inside the robot. We didn't quite get enough power out of these. There were some dependability issues and whatnot, and they're very heavy. So. For last season, for RoboGames, we converted to a brushless motor, okay? And this brushless motor actually has more power than the brushed motor there. So this was, this was a good arrangement to do, but I had to figure out a way to get the metric arrangements on the brushless motor to work with the inch arrangements on this gearbox. And so I made this custom mount to, 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 to hold the motor. Still had a uh, bearing support. I could make a custom little shaft to go in there so that it could attach to the motor and go into the half inch needed to go inside the gearbox. And so this actually worked okay. The problem is it really just wasn't, I didn't quite have the torque to spin up with this motor that I wanted and fighting with the speed controllers for brushless control is always a handful. So after RoboGames, when we took Mortician to BattleBots for Destructathon, I tried to find a bigger brushless motor. So, it's the same style of motor, but it's a little bigger one. Um, and this is the motor that we ran at Destructathon. But one of the things I, I was trying to find an output RPM that would maybe drop a little bit, because it was trying to, I was hoping that would help spin up to spin it slightly slower. So I got a slightly lower KV motor. The reality is when you go to a slightly lower KV motor, you just get less power. So even though... This is a bigger motor. I didn't get any power increase to do this. So in this particular case, I was even less happy with this motor than I was with this one. It just didn't have enough power to spin up the motor, the, the weapon as quickly as I would like. So for RoboGames next year, we're going to try something different. Okay. So I'm going to try the castle. Now, if you look at the raw wattage of these motors, it doesn't look like this one's any more powerful than any of the other ones. Um, but there's some, there's some advantages here. Uh, first off, this operates at a lower voltage than these two, so there's a, there's a change to some of the electronics to do this. And that is most of the reason why I'm doing this. The Castle motor comes with its own Castle speed controller, so it's kind of a plug-and-play arrangement as opposed to fighting with the VESC speed controllers for the other motors. So I think that this will work really good. And this is a censored motor where these are sensorless. So in theory, everything should control easier and better. I don't know that it'll have any more power than what I had before, but I think at least it should be more consistent and I shouldn't have to fight with it to make it work. Unfortunately, that requires some changes. So um, the mount arrangement between the two motors, uh, this has a different mount pattern for the front of the motor, and it's actually a slightly different diameter in that mount area. So bottom line is the custom mount that I made for these motors, which worked really well, it's just not going to work with this motor. So I'm going to have to make a new mount for this one. So now that I've cut the block off, the first thing I need to do is sort of square it up, kind of get it all nice and smooth so I've got something to work with. Um, and anytime you're milling, always need the uh, uh, you wear, your, wear your appropriate safety gear. 
Uh, for those of you like me that are blind, you can get these that are prescription. They work really well. So be safe. All right, so now that we've got it squared up and ready to go, it's time to add all the features so that we can mount it up to the gearbox and to the motor. So here's the new the new mount block right here. Um, you can see the the different mount pattern between that and the old one. Um, as an upside, it's ever so slightly smaller because the smarter has a smaller area to grab, so it should save a little bit of weight in the process. But it's basically the same arrangement. It's got a, a inset to hold the bolts to hold the motor in place, a spot for the bearing to support the shaft that goes into the gearbox. Um, so at this point, all we got to do is bolt it together and see what we end up with. So this is the start on the rebuild for Mortician. We're going to have uh, new arrangements electronically for it. Um, hopefully going to put out a pretty good show. So we're going to go through the whole rebuild on the, the robot again, leading up to RoboGames uh, in a few months. So over the next several weeks, we'll have all the content on the rebuild of Mortician. And it uh, should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs>